Hello, welcome to another gardening video of mine. In this video, I will be transplanting my um, F4 to the ground. Yeah, um, I, I started indoors in this um, biscuit um, biscuit pack. Yeah, and now they've grown. They have enough tr tr um, true leaves. One, two, three, four, five. This has five. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have enough true leaves on there. I have gotten them ready to be transplanted outside i will be planting them next to their brother or their sister here this is the um kalalo i think that's what it's called um i started these a few weeks ago but somehow they were very slow um so there's this one which is the only one that has managed to survive and this one which the slugs are having cool fun eating and this one as well which is just stunted so these ones are the F4 from Nigeria and this one I just bought online from Amazon I think um, but yeah so I'm going to put them next to each other and I'm just going to make some holes and um, put them in the soil I have taken them out of the, the, the planter box and this is what they look like this is the see nice and healthy root ready to expand so i'm just going to this one there's two here there's three here and there's one here and these are the holes that i've made for them i tried to look online to figure out how far away how far apart i should plant them but i couldn't find anything so i just used my um my hands my palm to separate to, for distance so this one's going to go here so go in here and this one's i'm going to separate and then they go in here and here and the other three goes yeah so there's this one that's also perished i think if i leave it it will come out but uh, i'm not sure so what i'm i'm thinking i'm thinking that i should just take it off but i don't know but this is part of the kalalu ones that i got from amazon and it's only the two red ones that are remaining so i was just like should i leave this one just for solidarity reasons but who knows i just might take it off and just be left with this one but yeah so that's what i'm going to do now bury them all yeah well done okay, this is i ended up just creating a, neck, a hole next to this one and just putting it in just because solidarity reasons so cover them up and then the next step is going to be watering them i have um i i'm just making beans in the house and the water that i used to wash the beans and the water that i used to wash the meat i've mixed them together and i'm going to use them to water this in all this i just experiment i'm hoping because the beans are good beans is good for the soil so i'm just hoping that the water too would help especially being that these ones are just being transplanted let them not wait me let them not die on me but yeah so hey i'll show you what it looks like when i'm done okay i'm done with planting the um f f4 tete um so yeah next thing is to water them in i'm going to get my water and do that water mixture i was talking about is washed beans and washed meat um just going to add more to it and i'll be using this to water the plant this is it it's a full bucket of water <sighs> i'm going to invoke my inner igala past atas to help me lift this up and take it all the way down there ignore the people who are okay i made it so now it's time to water so today i have done the i've transplanted the okras and the efo tt and i'm going to water them with this here just going to do it the root water the root and one cup, one cup each. One cup of my magic potion each. Woo! 
okay so i have watered them and this is what they look like at the moment so just going to keep an eye on it for the next few days water properly and hopefully it doesn't um i don't lose too much um and they settle in nicely so um i will keep you guys posted on this journey of mine to see how it goes um hopefully it would go as good as it's it's been going thank you for watching this video i hope you find it useful and helpful if you have any tips on how you grow your f4tt i'll be happy if you could share your tips with me thank you bye